Hey guys, so this is the second part of the Undertale Let's Play done by the Prospect of Gaming channel. So my name's Prospect, and um, if you haven't seen the first video, you might want to go back and check that out. Kind of put a little bit of a context to the game, though not really much. This is a pretty strange game. But anyway, so we're going to keep going, uh, trying to do something of a merciful playthrough. Try not to hurt anyone if I can. Um, I'm going to try to make sure I don't go shaking my monitor too much to... Adjust the webcam and hopefully I turned down the music this time so it should be a little bit more easy on the ears. Unless of course Fidak can go through and edit it afterwards, but we'll just assume he can and try to work on it. On mind at least. So we're gonna pick up here. We just got through a puzzle and uh, I'm gonna find out what this thing is down here. Switch, press it. Let's press it. Nothing happened. Maybe I should read what I need to do. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about all this uh, random combat. It reminds me a lot of the old Pokemon games. And I always kind of hated that when I had to uh, fight something. I hit him one more time, probably. Don't want to kill him. Just want to get him close so I can devour him. Oh, that was bullshit. Oh well. Lose one, get five. I think that's how it worked out. see the change in perspective. You can read this, press the blue switch. Or fight something. Alright, so I gotta fight the Vegetoid. I need to get a little bit- oh god! Oh, dude, this is super hard now. Oh, what? Fuck this game! Alright, I gotta eat him after this. Huh? Oh! No, you fucking don't. Devour him. Get some health back. Alright, now I gotta outstay in the other guy, whatever his name was. La la, did something. I don't wanna touch him. Have a care in the world. Let's talk to him. Hiya. He's so sweet once he's not trying to kill me like a bastard. Alright, let's spare him. Gives him a nice guy like that. Blue switch. Blue switch. Alright, so do I have to. Really? Well, if I get it, stop trying to kill me! This is a little bit easier. And, of course, as I say that, uh, I get hit. Alright, so I gotta go back and press the blue switch. You know, in hindsight, maybe giving me a... Maybe giving me a puzzle game was not the best thing to do for me. I'm actually pretty awful at puzzles, and... Nope, oh, there I go, moving the camera again. What is pressing this? That's what that does. Well, what is pressing this one do? Switch, press it. Let's press it, nothing happened. Press it, yes. Nothing happened. Well, what happens if I press the... Well, I fight, that's what happens. I wonder if I could just do Mercy up front. Oh, wow, I could. That would help a lot, like getting my mouse off the screen would help it a lot. 
Wow, I am utterly awful. Utterly awful. I think it is my second video. We gotta maybe beg off some slack. Maybe there's a button down here. I no. Give me a second to think about this and try to hit my mic while I'm in the process of it. I'm actually going to restart our little timer here to keep track of how much how much uh, I get to play before I gotta cut it again or try to find somewhere to save. There was a blue switch behind the top. That's nonsense. You know, there's probably someone that's going to be watching this going, you're an idiot. It's behind the pillar, probably. Just look at the other repetition of the idea on the other ones. You can read this, press the red switch. Switch, press it. Yes. Clicking sound. I also hear a fight about to happen. Oh, these are tough. Dude, I don't think I have any items. Like, that's the thing. And I can't give them mercy. And I don't want to if I'm gonna... I'm getting hurt. If I could just hold them off, I'd get a little bit more health, but that's not exactly as easy as it sounds. I have horrible reflexes. Oh! 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 Oh, there we go. That was a good one. Now I can eat him after this, get a little bit of, uh, the old love and back. Of course, I'm gonna lose some in the process. Of course. Vegetoid devour. I don't trust that. I feel like if I went down there, he'd kill me in a heartbeat. I'm gonna spare you. one of the most interesting fights I've seen so far. <laughs> Just let him go. Don't have to fight him. Just keep giving him the chance to go away. It's actually very relaxing. And I dig the music. I hope you all can hear it. As I tumble down to utter oblivion. Alright, let's backtrack now. Backtrack as quickly as possible. Gotta be behind this one, isn't it? It's a very interesting game. Oh, god. Now, I could try to spare him and find out what happens, but I don't feel like I have enough health to be able to get away with that. I feel like I just need as much health as possible if I can eat both of these without taking too much damage. At least now they have pretty basic combats. Just a little bit worried about the, yep, the bouncing. At the same time as the falling! The falling and the bouncing. The bouncing and the falling. The eating the vegetoids here in a second. Alright, let's destroy A, devour them, get some health back. Might actually get back to full hit points with this. I love that farmed locally, very locally. Shit. Well. Oh, what did I just do there? I'm clicking too fast, I'm getting too into it. It's a problem. Alright, but. There's gotta be a way to back out of this, hang on. Oh, when I hit Caps Lock? Caps Lock? Let's see it out of it? That's interesting. Then a button I normally associate with going backwards. Mostly argue it's on the internet. Oh, there I go. Perfect strategy. It's all part of the plan, folks. It's all part of the plan. I've been thinking 
that along with this one, I'm also going to get hit with something of a gourd, but I'm um, going to get distracted while I talk. But what I'm trying to get at is that I'm considering doing a Civ 5 game... Alright, I need to stop talking while I'm doing this. But doing a Civ 5 game and um, recording this like an extra little bonus video. Maybe not cut it, just put it as one big block thing. I'm not sure how many people would watch it, but I think it'd be fun. Yeah, just play Civ 5, mellow out, talk about myself some, because, you know, what else am I going to talk about? You people? Pfft, please. What's up here? The tree. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. Some love seeds? I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Save spot. Cute cutting ice in the ruins gives you determination. And we'll save. Wow! There is no way we've been playing for 50 minutes. Let me check my timer. I'm gonna have to check that later on in maybe one of the other videos. There's no way we've been doing this for 50 minutes. In no way. Can I read that? Can I read that sign? No, I'm going to. Smell that surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thought we might celebrate your arrival. I'm gonna have a nice time here, so I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is a pretty, very pretty house. This is it. Oh, my bedroom, room of your own. I hope you like it. Well, that certainly understands why she was calling me my child. Is something burning. I'll make yourself at home. This is a nice house. I would live here if I fell down a hole and was talking to some strange rabbit goat lady. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. It's really dusty, guy. Can I take a nap? There we go. Dude, she left me pie on the floor. I love floor pie. I gotta go find her. Actually, let's see what she's got to read. You know, you can tell a lot about someone by their bulk shelf. Books are worn. They must have been read many times. I'm not going in the basement. I've seen too many horror games to know what happens if that happens. Hey, Mom. Up already, I see. Hmm. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still... I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now! Um... Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Alright, you gotta let me out of here. I have to do something. Stay here. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Where is she? I'm not going in that basement. I'm setting a ground rule right now. I'm not going in that basement. What's this one? Room under renovations. Can I look in the window? It's you! Oh, that's cool. What's well, in this room, then? Storrel's diary. Read the circle passage. I feel bad, but yes. You read the passage, why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a simi similar caliber. These flowers look important. 
in the middle. Typhoid group of wetland flower plants with brown oblong seed pods. And more probably is water sausages. <laughs> Scandalous tutorial sock drawer. What's this thing? Ah, a cactus. Truly the most sundra of plants. Truly, the most psundra of plants. I love that. <laughs> I'm actually... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna quote that one of these days. I'm gonna be playing another game. Is, does this say the same thing about this cactus? Mm -mm. Just the same thing again. Water sausage. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Can I sleep in her bed? Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Very astute game. Can I go rummaging her trash? Of snails. <laughs> this game is actually really clever with its um with its text. I don't think of it. I honestly I mean I've played games with, um, clever dialogue in them, but that ended up tending to be because the characters themselves were clever. Like, this is just clever narration and writing. I don't think I've ever played a game where it was so overtly funny and, like, not even crude humor, like, biting satire. It's just, it's cute. How can you not like this? And, you know, how can you not like someone that's Sundre when describing a cactus? God, I have to go in the basement. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm doing it. Oh, is she praying to Satan? She's praying to Moloch Bowl down here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, you don't. I'm going home. This is abduction. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. I'm assuming Asgore's a person. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I could go to my room. You know what? Every game I play that's a bit of an adventure game is you don't follow the directions at the beginning of the game. That's how your character always ends up in the problem that they're in. It's almost a consistent thing. That's actually in, in like literature. That's a big thing when they don't listen to instructions given to them and they go on their own way. And an adventure ensues because of, the, because of that. You know what? Fuck common convention. We're gonna go back to our room. Plot be damned. Good times be damned. I'm gonna go take a nap. Maybe it'll be more burned butterscotch cinnamon pie, or was it cinnamon butterscotch pie? Alright, take another nap. Alright, let's see if we can find her. And what happened. Has this changed to the complete alternate version of the game? Or are they going to force me to? The size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. What about the oven? The stove top is very clean. Toril must use fire magic instead. Interesting. Some white fur stuck in the drain. That's nasty. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I take a fire poker? Can I equip myself with a weapon? The end of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and feel for, fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. That's great. Ah, 
I love the writing of this. <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Looks like we don't have much of a choice. We're gonna have to go down there and uh, go against her wishes. Though I would like it to be put part of the record. I tried to do something different. I tried to be a happy and naive child living with Toril eating pie all day made by fire magic. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I tried, but apparently the game doesn't actually want to stand by its agreement. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove you're strong enough to survive. Toril, don't hurt me. Toril blocks the way. Check. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh god. Oh, what is this? What is this nonsense? best for you. Oh god! Oh man, I should've saved that. Oh, what is this? What is this bullshit? Alright, I'll fight you. Lady, I'll fight you. I'll cut you up. I cut you down. I hate that pine. I get... Oh god. Please. Alright, I'm gonna flee after this, because this is not happening! That's right, go upstairs. Dude, she goes hard. Now let's go rest. Get the health back. I'm gonna go save, too. Oh man, Toril does not fuck around. I really wish this walking wasn't so long, but... I suppose I don't really have an option. Prosp, please, wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Interesting. Let's see if I can't get any pie. Then I'm gonna go save. Eat another... Let me get another slice of that pie. No, looks like I wasted it. Pro gamer, guys. Can I sit in her chair? Okay, nothing exciting. Seems like the right size for her. There's probably something clever in the writing for that, uh, fire as well. Wow, how have I already been playing this game for an hour? This is fantastic. I love this game. I'm making a deep and amorous connection to this. It's a lovely game. Honestly, I, I should look up the price for and start putting a link in the video. Actually, um, so Fidak is our woo. Fidak is our wonderful editor. So I'm actually gonna do something clever here. Uh, Fidak, put a link right here, right here, for uh, the Steam page for the game and information about how much it costs. Be a doll, yeah. Wonder if he'll actually do that or not. Otherwise, I'll just look like an ass. Like Toril is. What will it take to for you to learn your lesson? Oh, don't kill me, at least. Okay, well, I try to be clever. Thought it was gonna be one of those games, um, awful at this. Do any more items? Oril. Oril. Alright, so that's never going to change. But I don't... I wanna hurt her, she gave me pie. Oh my god, she's so strong. What happens if I let her kill me? Let's find out. I mean, I'm gonna fight it as best I can, but... I'm not gonna try to run away this time. Oh, 
wait. Oh, is she is she actually gonna try to not hurt me? I don't think she'll kill me. game more no. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I don't want to hurt her. I really don't want to hurt her. I mean, like, I think I understand where the character's coming from. Like, the way they're styling her. This is... This is rough, like, I... No... You... are stronger than I thought. Listen to me. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually you'll reach an exit. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, I will. My child. Yeah, we're going to cut it here.